New Orleans is a city steeped in history, mystery and the macabre. Nestled in the heart of the French Quarter stands a building that whispers its own dark tales. The Andrew Jackson Hotel. Built in the 1790s, this site originally housed a boarding school for boys, orphaned by a devastating yellow fever epidemic. But as fate would have it, tragedy struck again. In 1778, a fire engulfed the building, claiming the lives of five young boys. An event that many believe still haunts the hotel to this very day. Of course, we had to stay here. Today, the Andrew Jackson Hotel is a charming boutique hotel, welcoming you in from the moment you enter. But behind its picturesque facade lies a reputation that chills even the most seasoned travellers. Guests have reported ghostly encounters from the laughter of children in empty hallways to the sight of shadowy figures in their rooms. Some even say that the spirits of the five boys remain trapped here, playing pranks on visitors, while others believe that a former caretaker, affectionately dubbed Mrs Davis, still watches over the hotel. Room 208, perhaps the most infamous room of all. Many who have stayed here speak of being awoken by the sensation of someone sitting on the edge of their bed, or the inexplicable sounds of furniture moving on its own. Is it the playful spirits of the children, or is it something more sinister? It's also said that the ghost of the Andrew Jackson himself haunts the grounds. Legend has it that the general stayed here while planning his defence of the city during the Battle of New Orleans. Whether it's true or just a myth, the hotel proudly carries his name and with it a legacy of intrigue and paranormal activity. For the tourist chasing the dark side and ghost hunters, The Andrew Jackson Hotel is more than just a place to rest. It's an experience. Every creaking floorboard, every flickering light, every sudden chill in the air. Could it be the spirits trying to reach out? Or is it simply the weight of history pressing down on the haunted hotel? So... When you find yourself wandering the haunted streets of the French Quarter, consider spending a night at the Andrew Jackson Hotel, if you dare. After all, it's one thing to read about its history, but it's a very different thing to sleep in its shadow. So Andrew Jackson Hotel, big thumbs up, loved it. Yeah, loved it? Yep. So when people used to make the journey over from the old world to the new world, they brought kids with them. Well, you ever wonder what happened to the orphans? All right, they just didn't turn them loose in the streets. The girls went to the convent, the boys came here. 1788, on uh, Good Friday, I think it was April 1st or April 5th, uh, Good Friday was a great fire, it started over on charters, and it burned down 85% of the city, including the structure. The five boys got stuck on the third floor, and they could not get out. We have Walter, we have Armand, and we have Julia. Walter, one somebody swears they saw an image poke their head around that corner. This is one of the spots that Walter likes to frequent. In addition to that, he frequents the main part of the hotel room 208, uh, 209, 102, and 204. Julian and Armand are his sidekicks. They hang out back here. They also hang out back here with a man named Paul. After the school burned down, they turned into a courthouse. They built a courthouse right here. And uh, that's when they moved the courthouse from the Cabildo. And so uh, this courthouse has a lot of death attached to it because this is where they were tried for capital crimes. Horse thievery, rape, robbery, and murder, you'd find yourself in the gallows very <coughs> fast back then. It was not the whole court of appeals process that we have now. They find you guilty and a couple months later they hang you. And so um, there's a man, his name is Paul, was hung in 1833, April, uh, shortly after being convicted of murdering his mother. During COVID in April 2020, my wife and I sat right there at that table and decided we we're going to have a little session to entertain our friends on Facebook Live. We did. As soon as I turned my camera on, my obelisk and spirit box started spitting out. I didn't do it. I'm not guilty. 
for an hour, I talked to this energy, and basically he's pissed off that he was convicted and punished for a crime he says he did not commit. And the one thing he kept talking about was, was that of, of, of a false witness, false witness. I didn't really understand what the hell he was talking about, really. I mean, I knew what he was talking about, but I just kind of didn't really didn't have it all in context. I brought in some mediums uh, back back in December on a private tour, and I brought them in the closet. They knew nothing of where they were going or who they were going to deal with. And they came out and said, you're looking for an energy. His name is Garrett. Well, I said, that's not the name of the energy. Well, there's a Paul in there, but he keeps screaming out Garrett. Well, Garrett was an Irish name. And so New Orleans, the French Quarter, primarily had a lot of Irish here, along with the Italians and Germans. First quarter was very poor. People think it, they look at it now and think it's all fancy. But we were back then, it was very poor until about 25 years ago, right? And so I believe that Garrett was the false witness to Paul's trial. And so to me that makes sense. So that means that Garrett killed his mother, right? And so with that we have Master back here. Master is a extremely old energy. He's been in and out all night. I've been having a hard time trying to capture him, but he is there. I've been I've been catching him for a minute or so. And then he just disappears. And so with that, if I catch him tonight, I'm going to take my flashlight. I'm going to guide you in this closet. You use your right hand. And you're going to move your right hand where I need you to move it. Palm has to be up. K2 gears are going off. Yeah. And so you're going to use your palm. You're going to turn it. And then hopefully what I'm going to do is I'm going to get you to play patty cake, patty cake. And that basically means that if you're not mapped, you have just have a gray figure, his energy is going to be like a blue, purple, yellow, something like that. That energy will come up your arm. You'll see it when he touches you. Happened to a couple of people tonight with a different energy. That energy, I don't have a clue who it is. Energy's coming in out of this closet like it's a train station, right? So I might have them tonight, but they'd be gone tomorrow. They may be gone now for all I know, right? So, um, and then we have Priest. Priest is uh, not so friendly. Priest has a tendency to make people sick, uh, give them headaches, make them feel nauseous, make them feel a little woozy. Uh, really, what I call paranormal menopause. They begin to have heat flashes. Oh, wow. Well, that's so good. A lot of people. <laughs> so, so um, if I've seen priests come out, what he likes to do is he likes to hover over people. <coughs> he'll manifest down here, and he'll pop up, and he just hangs over you like this. Is he attached? No, no, no. no. He just likes to hover over But if I do see him swing his leg over and stand on top of you both shoulders, I'll tell him to stop doing it or I'll get the holy water. If I see him begin to move over to dance on your head, I will spray him with holy water to spray you too. Okay, that's not that's not good. That's a bad that's a very bad thing. So um, why is it bad that he dances on you? Because it's just, it's a it's a sign of like trying to attach to you and get you sick. I've seen it happen in demonic possession. But he's not demonic? He's not demonic. Okay. Yeah. But I but that's what I do. I don't like it because I saw that woman he was with, she actually went through a transitional possession. And I saw that energy stand on top of her. I got it on my, I got it on my tab to show it to you. Stood on her and kicked her in the head. And I've seen Master it twice. So I see somebody doing that. And I stop it. I don't like so it. it's just a nasty piece of shit. Yeah. Okay. Right. But he's. But he, was he clergy? No. No. You're not clergy. Why do you call him clergy? Because that's what he. That's the name he gave us. Like I don't have Master's name. That's just what he wants to be called. So if I have energy tells me he wants to be called Katmandu, I'm gonna call him Katmandu. Does he pick on women? It's everybody. It's not just one or the other. Some people he'll come out for a lot. He was out a lot earlier. So I don't think he'll come out a lot or not tonight. I have no clue. I mean, I don't know what's gonna to happen tonight. Is he linked to the children here? No. No, he's not linked to the children here. Okay. Yeah. So do they all know about each other? Apart from the little boys who all die together? the master know about the kids? Like, the master is a protector of the children. Okay. Wow. Right? Like, I didn't see any of the boys come out. Julian did not come out tonight. I have not seen Gabriella tonight. I have not seen Armand tonight. So, you know, maybe it was the first group. I don't know. You know, I think that people's energy dictates how this process goes. Okay. That's what I believe. So let me grab some stuff out of here, and we're going to get started. Come on, you can do it. Make that cap a whole lot of yeah, you got to be you got to yeah. be careful with your movements. I understand. I understand. I get it. I'm not. Oh, no. They're trying to do it. They're trying to get master to come out all night. Can I come in the room? You better watch this while you're making Thank you. This will not you can, but it won't pick up anything else. This can only map two at one time. Two people. No worries, I won't. I won't. You can map him plus two energies. 
separately. Oh, okay. But it, yeah, but it yeah. can't. It can only map two people, and we'll okay, pick up nothing. Else. No worries. 